how many even numbers greater than 50,000 can be formed with digits 5, 2, 7, 6, 3, 0? My God. You may have faced this problem somewhere, somehow, but today I want to talk about it in a special way. You're going to see how to get it more, more clear and more detailed in this explanation. We want to see on the solution. Um, first of all, what we must know at the, first, at the beginning is that the degrees which can start, that it can start and give us a figure greater than 50,000 are only three. They are seven, six, and five. Other digits can't start, otherwise the figure will be less than 50,000. Oh, another thing to consider is that at the end, to get even numbers, we must be adding with either a two or a six or a zero. So we also be ending with three digits. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, in other words, let's first look at the first case. The first case, we can start with the digit, for example, five, and we end with any figure, maybe two, maybe zero, maybe six. Let me start with five and I end with zero. So when I start with five and I end with zero, this will be implying that the, three, the four digits are constant in the middle here. Now, like uh, I start with five, maybe six, three, two, seven, I end with zero. I start with five, six, three, two, I end with zero. So these figures in the middle are the one changing, meaning the number of arrangement of doing this will be four factorial because it will the fifth figure is determined by the arrangements of these figures in between. And the figures can be arranged in four factorial ways. So uh, figures that start with 5 and end with 0 are 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2. Uh, now, still, figure can start with 5 and end with another even number 2. That's what I'm meaning. Meaning I'll be, uh, be now arranging these figures now. Zero was, now 0 is among the figures. Uh, look at it. It can be 5, 6, and this with 2. 5, 6, 7, and this. So, also these ones are 4 factorial figures like when you try to count you can try arranging them yourself you will see that you have four factorial digits oh now you can still start with five and end with six doing the same things that will be still four factorial figures another thing we go to case two case two we are now starting with seven we have finished five uh seven you can start i'm now on this seven you can start and you end maybe with zero that will be still 4 factorial. When you start with 7 and end with 2, still you will get 4 factorial. It will be the same thing we are doing up here. So you end up having 4 factorial. Uh, still, when you can start with 7 and end with 6, that is still 4 factorial. Now, you can observe here, uh, here for 6, 6 can start. But remember, at the same time, 6 was ending as a... Uh, uneven digit. So in this case, meaning if six starts, we shall be ending with now only two even numbers. That is zero and two, only those, only those numbers. Okay, now when you look, we can start with zero and we end with, we can start with six, sorry, and we end with zero. That's the first thing. You can start with six and end with zero. That's the first one. And the second one, you can start with six and end with two. There is no other option since uh, we have exhausted. So six can only be arranged in two, in two, uh, let me say two cases. It doesn't exceed it two cause uh, when you exceed two, there is nothing that can, uh, cause we are without repetition. These are things are independent. There is no repetition. So in other words, here is a, is a problem that we used to encounter. So six can only be arranged in two ways. That's why I'm saying now the total number will be, uh, then you start adding, it will be this four factorial plus four factorial, that is three times four factorial, plus this three times still four factorial, then plus two, because these are two, one, two, two times four factorial, which is eight factorial, and when try to, to uh, compute that, that is 192 figures that can be obtained in this case. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you got it more clear. Uh, now, if somebody says, maybe uh, somebody says, maybe comes and says, maybe I have three digits which can start and uh, I 
and I have three digits which can end. I'm imagining, meaning I'm left uh, with uh, uh, four digits to arrange, which is four factorial. And uh, somebody concludes that this is four factorial times uh, three times three. Uh, you will get your answers two one six, um, but that is wrong. See, if somebody can say three digits can start, though I have to arrange five factorial. Maybe you get your answers three hundred sixty. Um, after, that, but that is still wrong. So the best option is this one. Uh, it was somehow uh, um, easy to observe that six could only be arranged in two cases. So how do you get that answer? In other words, this is the solution. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe on the channel.